Well, how do their jobs as I, Captain Steve? And yes, I have got to my first settlement. So all you need to do to find one of these settlements is just fly out into space after the update and you should get a message come in. And yeah, here's the mission. So I need to find myself an NPC to chat to. And look at that. It's conveniently placed an icon amongst this settlement. There doesn't seem to be much hustle and bustle outside of the houses, it has to be said. So let's head on into this building where it's taken me so far, the one with the gnarly flags. I'm loving this. This is so cool. It's like some sort of like western or something. Hello, my little gek friend. I love your eyebrows. They're freaking great. Well, yeah, Scout Gek. I'm not even going to pronounce your name. There you go. There's words that I don't know. I'm going to have to know these words. I'll have to go find some knowledge stones or maybe a monolith. I might hit up a monolith. That way we can see if there's any atlas words that need to be had as well. Lovely jubbly. Before I can speak, okay. A whale of sirens. Uh-oh. A hostile buzz descends. Oh, no. The sentinels have arrived, decated. Right. Well, I'm going to have to dispatch and murdercate these little drones. Where's the freaking door? There it is. Awesome, we're out of the door. Hello there, corrupted sentinel. Take this. Um, mining beam did hardly any damage. Yeah, it goes without saying. Animus beam, on. No, maybe not. It needs reloading. Right. <laughs> I'm ill prepared for this combat. There's a new sheriff in town. He has no weapons. <laughs> okay, right, brilliant. Make sure you've got ammo, people. Yeah, here we go. We've got descended upon by loads of corrupted sentinels. Take this, you little scourge. Yeah, in the Frickin' eye! Kaboom! You've become a beer keg. Lovely. Evolution. Take this, you! Right, you reload them and load, load. Right, yeah, it's leaking freaking fluid all over the place. Die! Yeah, that one's down. And another. Take this, you. Okay, brilliant. Kaboom! I was kind of hoping to see corrupted sort of, I don't know, sentinel walkers. Or some boss sentinels. Yeah, take that, you! However, I am liking the fact that we've got a bit of combat just thrown into this update as well. I'm going to pop all these kegs. Lovely, lovely. We're getting some nanites. We're getting some ammo. This is all good. Yeah, there's a new sheriff in town. Captain Steve is here defending these quarters. Go tell all your sentinel chums. Actually, you can't because I destroyed you all. Ha! You're all dedicated. Hello there. How are you? Oh, dedicated is a completely different word, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot that was a real word. And talking about words I don't know, he, he, he had at least one there that I didn't know. Oh, and two more. Brilliant. I need to learn these words. I need to know what my little get cohorts are saying. Brilliant. Right. Okay, yep. Fine. Yeah, accept their thanks. Yeah, you're, you're quite welcome. Salute Mondo, my little friend. I do like the little sort of like hubcap you've got on your head. It's uh, a fashion that I may partake in one day. No, no, I won't. I won't. I won't be doing that. Hello there, eyebrows. How are you, my friend? He seems okay. Right, well, um, I don't know. What should we do now? Okay, let's head on over to this middle column. It looks like the overseer's position is up for grabs. Let's see if we can be grabbing that. Sweet. Okay, awesome. Yeah, planetary interface, access granted. Lovely. And uh, yeah, the current overseer status missing or deceased. Right. Okay, yeah, I'll be the overseer then. Lovely jubbly. And this is my new town. New Niradom. I don't see a way to actually name this yet. I guess I have to claim it first. Invest in the settlement? I think I will. I mean, yes, it does seem to have a maintenance cost, though, with 208,000 units per day. And all the residents seem to be a little bit shite. And it's a C-class. Let's see if it levels up, though. I like a challenge. I love a challenge. So here we go. And um, let's have a quick look at this console, because look at this. It has some of that text on that can be translated. I wonder what that says. Well, we'd have to put it into the verse and see what people come back with. Super, Kaja, Fragilistic, XP, Anadocious. I am now the Overseer. Hold on, I need to construct an Overseer what now? Okay, well, let's head on over there and let's see if we can construct this then. Construct terminal. I will do. Well, let's have a look behind the scenes first. Oh, look at this. Little cement mixers. Little bits of scaffolding. Oh, it's lovely. Right, well, let's just head on round then. Let's see if we can get this under construction. Yep, I want to invest. Oh, fudge. I need 210 silicate powder. And I don't really want to terrain manipulate out my base. So I'm going to head on over here and I'm going to speed up this footage. And I'm going to dig out a massive, great, big, vast area and get a shed load of silicate powder. Yes, I do love the power of editing. Ha! Take this, you rocks, and become silicate powder. 
and we're ready to chuck this into here and let's see what that says oh we've got to wait a minute and a half you know what that minute and a half is time that i can spend waiting and for you guys i'm going to use the power of editing yet again how yours yeah there's no limit on how often i can do this there we go boom back lickety spirit and done there we go we've got our first floor installed already now what do we need Right, out, let's enter around and see what we've got to put in. Oh, metal plating. Five of them, you say? I've got those in my back pocket. Jobs are good. And we've got to wait for another minute and a half. You know what? I'm just going to run around my town and see if we've got ourselves a, bu a pub. You know, a public house. Somewhere that sells beverages. Perhaps, preferably, alcoholic beverages. Or even some sandwiches. That would be nice. But no, I'm not finding anything of the sort. OK, well, let's head on back down and let's uh, see if that's done. Now what does it need? Righto. Yeah, I need some of that, does it? Right, well, let's uh, create some of that then. Let's say, uh, yeah, I need three of these. Boom. Microprocessors for a roof. Hmm. I would have expected something different, but there we are. I would have thought that would have been for maybe the wiring or something. Let's t continue our search for beverages and sandwiches. No beverages and no sandwiches. Just very upset people. And we've got a load of manufacturing -y type areas and a shed load of spare tyres. Brilliant. Um, maybe I should have searched for a better outpost, chums. This one seems to be a bit dire. Hello there, chum. How are you? Yeah, I've, I've built my little... This is my hut now. This is all built. This is my gas. So by the looks of things, I don't have to build my own Captain Steve residence here. I think this is kind of it. Now, when you go into the building menu, you only get limited options for just like the portable tech, like making a save point and things like that. And that's probably about it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll wait until this town is actually completed, put down a base computer and maybe put down a teleport and some useful stuff for myself. But, you know, you don't have to hook up power here. They managed to get power somehow. I don't know how. I wish we got new power parts. Right. So here we go. I get to approve a tower or a starship dock. Now, if I want traders to come, really, I want the starship dock. But then the tower, does that help with defences? I don't know. Hopefully, I get the choice later to put in a tower. But for now, I've gone for a landing post. Overlord title unlocked. Thank you very much, Overlord Captain Steve. Very nice. Here come some ships now. Is it already built? I doubt it. Right, well, I very much doubt it's arrived, Decated. No, it hasn't. Look, we've got all this sort of build stuff going on again. So let's just head on over here. Yeah, I love the way that it wrecks all these little panels when it's actually creating something. This is a lot smaller than my actual overseer area. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. And free aronium. Dang, I just chucked away a load of aronium the other day. You get it from, like, frigate fleet missions and stuff. Darn, well this could be quite good to do in hand with upgrading your frigate fleet and sending them out because you get loads of aronium. Okay, well anyway, let's craft some of the stuff. I need to bring it in to grab my paraffinium and we're done. We've got the aronium, so let's just give it the aronium that it needs. Three of those. Chicka boom. Three freaking hours. Actually, that's four hours. Four hours. For the love of the Atlas, that's a long freaking time. Oh my days, mind blowing stuff. Yeah, you know, if this was one of those mobile games, you could probably speed it up using real cash. Sadly, we don't have that option, and even if we did, I wouldn't freaking use it. Let's uh, head on over here then. So, three hours. Let's just hope that um, there's a lot more sorts of decisions to be made. Uh, in that three hours, let's hope that it keeps you busy, that you're not going to be sort of twiddling your thumbs waiting. Well, let's head on over then. Let's have a look what we've got here. Uh, greet settlement visitor. Hello there, visitor. Oh, I do like your gnarly cap, and I love, I love, I love. Yeah, that's really cool. You know, like little Red Riding Hood, but creepier. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna recruit you just because you look freaking awesome. Um, however, reading this up, you know, you you have sort of barricaded yourself in here, which isn't the best trait. But you are a mathematician. Yeah, and you've got a look of hope in your eyes. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna hit up that hope, but you are going to cost me 12,000 units per day. So you better be worth it, okay? Yeah, you look happy, good. You just mugged me, pretty much. You better be worth it, my friend. Awesome. Well, we've just recruited him. I'm hoping that's going to help. It does say that visitors, recruiting visitors, will help your, uh, your standing with the rest of your residents. So hopefully that's going to increase, increase their happiness or something. We shall see. We'll see what happens. 
Excellent. So that was pretty much my first decision, wasn't it? Taking on a resident there. Oh no, building, either choosing a tower or a landing pad. So we've had a few decisions. I mean, I am liking this. This is quite cool. As the road play goes. Hello there. Right, well I figured I'm going to have to try and learn some of the lingo in a bit as well. But we've got a citizen dispute to be had. I get to play Judge Rinder. Right, so let's jump on in and let's have a quick look. Resolve. Okay, brilliant. Okay, Envoy whatever his name is, accuses Envoy whatever his name is, of stealing, stealing the results of long-running plant breeding program. They present photographs as evidence, though the images are suspiciously grainy. Well, you know, I can't go with grainy. Grainy is not evidence. That is not enough sway. They could have been doctored. It's not bona fide. It's not legit. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to side with the guy that probably did steal them just because your evidence was shite. Okay, awesome. Oh, that, that's justice. That's justice served on the spot by Captain Steve. Yeah, Captain by day, Judge by night. Yes, yeah, so you can see here, it's night time. Awesome. Excellent. <laughs> Well, let's head on off and let's go and find some knowledge stones. Well, I was looking for knowledge stones, but I came across this. It's a trade vessel. A little starship landed right by me. And this seems to happen a lot around my town. I've had a few drop in. Hello there, broker. And let's see if I can interact with him. I had problems with the first one. Here we go. Let's uh, offer to trade. Boom. No, chucks you straight out the menu. That's a bit of a bug. That's not good. That's not great. Had the same thing happen up in the Nexus with Ares. But yeah, this, this isn't good, especially for new players trying to get ahead. That could seriously hamper them. Okay, well, let's head on back over here. Hopefully it doesn't happen with all the station sort of agents. We go up to the station later and have a look around and we'll see if it works up there. Well, let's head on into this little hut again and let's see what we've got now. It looks like we've got another decision to be had. Let's go and have a look-see. What have we got? What have we got today? Citizen request. Okay, well, let's have a look at this. So my last citizen, the mathematician, has actually given me a plus. Now, yeah, actually, citizen request. I don't know whether this is a new citizen. It doesn't say visitor. This is a request. Let's have a look what they're requesting. Okay, they want to go on an away mission. Oh, lovely, to salvage a nearby freighter wreck. Right, yes, you can. You can all go. Heck, yes, you can. It's going to cost me... 48,000 units. That's fine. Whatever you find is probably going to be worth more than that. Okay, it's going to take them nearly an hour. Okay, well in that hour, we can go learn some words, I think, chums. So I'm going to call in one of my exocrafts that's got a scanner, which is this one here, my little nomad. Hello, nomad. Let's jump on in. Let's use the scanner quickly. Let's find out where the nearest monolith is, because sadly, there's virtually no knowledge stones on this blinking planet. Now, I did say I'll go up to the station later. Hopefully, we can hit up some of the MP in the station and learn some words there but let's just grab some knowledge from this actual monolith so we go we've got three knowledge stones to be had at the monolith so let's grab that we can also do the puzzle of the monolith and see if there's any atlas words there we go yep we're learning new gek words so we're going to learn three from this monolith lovely and then hopefully when we go up to the station we can do a bit of a count and work out how many new words have been added in. So that's three new words, landicated. Let's head on up these stairs and let's see if there is an atlas word to be learned. Hello there. Yeah, hello there giant monolith. Awesome. And uh, let's uh, see what it has here. Burned metal, heavy industry, blah, blah, blah. Deep into my mind. I'm going to choose the worker because it's said to favour those that toil. Righto. Nice. And we're done. Do I learn a new atlas word? All communications fully mapped. Nice. So yeah, no new atlas words, but there are race words in here, right? Is that a knowledge stone over there? No, it's picking up the knowledge stone that's at the foot of the freaking base of this, isn't it? Uh, oh, there's one. There's one. There's a knowledge stone. Trust me, though, chums, there, there's hardly any knowledge stones on this planet. So I'm going to have to hit up this one. But then I think I'm going to have to fly up to the station. We'll have a little butchers up there. We'll see if there's an error of interacting with traders, like kicking you out of the menu. Because if that's a thing, that could be a real hindrance. OK, lovely job. And no more knowledge stones down here. Like I was saying, there's not many at all. They seem to be very sparse. Right there, let's head on up. To the station. I've just landed in the station and I just saw this red and white sort of number flying. Very nice. Yeah, cool though. Okay, let's talk to this gek. Hello there, little gek dude. How are you? Yeah, I want to learn some words. Request dialect help. Don't mind if I do. Lovely. 
and um, I go for mystery symbol. Right? Disgrace. Nice. Oh, it popped up with a second word. That's new. Normally you only learn one word per alien. Let's uh, try that again. Okay. Hello. Callio. Request dialect help. Don't mind if I do. Chickaboom. And I go for the aggression symbol this time. Uh, okay, it learned one and then said learn nothing new. So it tried to learn two words. So how many was that? I learned two, so yeah, four, six, seven. Okay, well, let's talk to this guy. Cool, we'll talk to these. You know what, I might hit up a couple more gecks because what I've noticed, yeah, you have to choose other symbols. I'm still learning gek words. I'm still learning gek words. So I reckon there's a good dozen or so words for each of the races to be learned, chums. Can I teleport back down to... Yes, I can. I can go back to my settlement, but let's do some tests of the merchant. So we'll try the trader. He's just flown into the actual station. And yeah, the menu stays up. This is OK. This, this is a bit better. So it seems to be the people that sell the X-Class modules on planets, traders that land, that have got the serious problem. And also Ares inside the Nexus has got the problem. I don't know why. It's just picking on them ones. But here we go. This is all looking OK. Yeah. Even this trader over here, all good, yeah, perfect. Is there anything new in here? I want the station override. How do I get a station override? I don't know how to get a station override. Yep, yeah, uh, I went to Blair at Cartman there, didn't I? Well, let's teleport back down to my settlement. Awesome. And here we go. Warp a gate. Lovely job. Right, well, I've arrived back down at uh, Planet Brave Star, as I've named it, chums. Very nice, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to see if I can name this now. Let's go to the centre console and see if we can name the actual base settlement. Since I called it Planet Brave Star, you know what? I'm going to call this NMSA 3030 Town. 3030 was the name of Brave Star's horse, the mechanical horse, I guess. So, yeah, 3030 was awesome. He had a gun. I can't remember if it was called Sarah Jane or Mary Jane. It was something Jane, his gun. But yeah, 3030, awesome robotic course. I'm naming it after that. And I'm going to say 3030 and down. There we go. Done. And that's locked in. Brilliant. And you can see there that I've got a debt. I've got a debt at the bottom there. But it says settlement productivity has increased and the debts are re- is that recalculating? I'm not too sure. It's hard to read from where I'm sitting. Yeah, but it says that it'll automatically be repaid over time. Brilliant. Yeah, that green on blue for me is just really hard to actually read. Okay, nice. So hopefully that's going to be a thing as my base grows. Hopefully, Oh, look, there's another trader over there. Let's go hit him up. Now that I've teleported a couple of times, and I think I've even saved my game and logged out and come back in again at this stage, let's see if that's actually fixed it. Maybe it was just because it was just a new update or something. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, offer to trade. No, it just kicks me back out. I'm going to offer to buy a ship and see if we get a problem with that. It kicks me straight out. Fudging heck. Okay, I don't know what's going on with um, Ares in the uh, Nexus. All these traders, but they're broke, Hello Games. You need to fix them. Yeah, fix those guys. Yeah, Hello Games. I'm going to have to send this over to Zendesk with a timestamp or something, because they're, they're freaking fudged. Right, lovely job. So at this time, chums, we have roughly about another 30 minutes or so for the actual um, guys to come back from their mission of salvaging that downed freighter, the crash freighter. And we've got about another three hours to go before my landing pad is actually constructed. So in that meantime, I'm just sort of interacting with some of my actual guys here. Let's see what's going on there. There's still a word I don't know there. Look at that, Serla, whatever Serla is. How are you? Yeah, you are the back to me. Yes, I'm your new overseer, your boss. Yeah, overseer friend. Yeah, okay, recognises me. At least that's a thing. Right, okay, awesome. Well, that's, uh, I like these new windows as well, aren't they cool? Let's head back into my little lodge. I'm, I'm liking the fact that my house looks nicer than all the rest in the town, and it's adorned with these freaking awesome Persian rugs. Lovely. They know I'm a man of many tastes. Again, let's have a quick look-see. Yeah, it looks like it's doing good. It's ticking over nicely, chums. It's doing okay. But yeah, let's uh, let's wait to see if there's any sort of new decisions to be made before we end off. Yeah, we've got a new decision come on in, so let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look what we've got this time. Make a policy decision. Hmm. Remove remove rude citizens. Okay, add in pilgrims. Tonic. A containery. Okay, nice. A cannery. Like it. 
or remove the lazy systems and add a logical unit. I think the logical unit might have gone better with the tower. It sounds like it could be some sort of anti-sentinel system down at the bottom there. So habitation over sentinels. I think I made the wrong choice. I should have gone for a tower earlier. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go for this. I'm just gonna hope that these cycle round and I get to add in defence towers at a later time. But then again, they've got Captain Steve to protect them, and I'm freaking awesome. So maybe I won't need a sentinel tower. Who knows? There we go. Another decision made. Probably a wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna stick down a save point in here, chums, because. Yeah, why the fudge not? At least I can just save off and I can end off for a bit because I've got to wait another three hours. I'm going to see if this happens outside of game time. So I'm going to go and edit and make this video and render it. And by the time I come back, hopefully I'll have something else to actually video render and turn into a video. So there we go, people. I think I'm about done for now. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed episode one out there in view of us. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve that little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.